hello YouTubes. We could just turned into a train spotter. <laughs> Welcome to my first adventure into rail fanning or train spotting if you're in the UK. I seem to have accidentally come upon a perfect little haven of rail networking. Let me show you around. I have parked right beside what I presume is the main line from uh, Hamilton to Burlington. So presumably these two lines will go all the way to Hamilton and beyond, probably down to Niagara Falls. I don't know what this used to be. It seems to be abandoned, but there's no sign saying that I can't be here. So over this side, we have a disused line. Well, at least I hope it's disused, because I'm... No, it's definitely disused. It's overgrown and there's some rails sitting about over there. And at the end of it, it would have eventually gone over a little bridge in the distance there. little girder bridge because I know the terms now over on this side I don't think these are disused um, you can usually tell by the surface rust on the rails now nah, there's surface rust in that one that one over there is a bit shinier so I think the far one gets used I don't know where that goes looks a bit run down and again these two converge and go over that little bridge so I think all the action is going to be on the main line over there. So we'll head over there, hang about for a bit. See if we can see some trains. Yay! Nice crossing. There's no barriers in these crossings, so I will have to be very careful when I um, cross back over there to go home. Because who knows if the bulbs are still working. Right, let's wait for a train or two. God, I turned away for a second and I nearly missed one. These modern diesels are really quiet. Except for that one. They're so much bigger when you're up close to them like this. Right, I need to pay attention, make sure I don't miss the next one. It does show, however, how dangerous railways can be. If trains can sneak up on you like that, you really got to pay attention. And there's no fence at this one, so... Well, I don't plan on crossing the rail anyway, but... Yeah, until you get up close and personal, you don't realise how dangerous railways can actually be, potentially. If you're not careful like me. I see a light in the distance. Is it a train? Oh, it's a train. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring a tripod next time. This was an accident today. A happy little accident. I wonder if he'll give me a wave. So there's three main lines behind me. I don't know if any of them use, uh, sorry, if any of them are used by the goods trains or if it's just the GO train commuting from Toronto to Burlington to Hamilton kind of deal. If you're local to the Burlington and Hamilton area, let me know if I'm in the right place for goods trains or if this is purely passenger trains. Don't worry, there's more places I can, I can find. I've already sourced another two possibly three locations we can do this rail fanning thing this is a pretty good start to my little adventure right i've just spotted something in the distance and it is not a passenger train and i'm not going to do the crazy zoom in thing this time you just have to wait and of course you're going to have to tell me what this locomotive is because i'm still new to this and i don't have a model version of this one yet 
Oh, this is perfect. Well, there's actually another line beyond those three lines. So I'm guessing that's the goods trains. We've got some intermodal. We've got some tankers, actually quite a lot of tankers. And then we've got some, what are they called? Auto, auto somethings, they carry cars. Leave a comment, I've forgotten what they're called. With the traditional graffiti all along the bottom. So I'm guessing that is coming from the Detroit area. Do they still make cars in Detroit? I don't know. Covered hopper, more tank cars, more graffiti. That's all right, it's part of the tradition, right? I wonder why they put the, the, the random tank cars in between. Just to minimalize the massive explosion you might get, I suppose. Hey, I've got one like that. Much smaller, of course. Another two there. Very random. I was expecting everything to be in a nice, a nice line of certain types of box cars, then tank cars, then. But no, it's very random. Gondolas. This is a right mis mishmash of rolling stock. More gondolas. Auto, what are they called? And what do they hold normally? Because obviously they're uh, empty. More tank cars. Cover top or tank car, whatever that is. More tank cars. This is a big train. They're funny. What are they? Are they just like very old tank cars? Covered hoppers. Yeah, let me know what these ones hold because it's a mystery to me. Wow, this one's never ending. All that, and it's only been filled by two locomotives. Unless there's one further down, I suppose. Still coming. This is endless. Hey, I tell you what, I'm glad it's not going over that uh, railway crossing because I'm I would never get home at this rate. Got to love that metal wheel squeal. It's awesome. And that click 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 noise, I'm presuming that's a flat spot and a wheel because it doesn't do that all the way along. Okay, we're approaching the end. Hey, did anyone keep count? I have no idea. I was too excited. But yeah, just two power units pulling all of that. And it disappears. Now that is heading up to the left towards Dundas, I'm guessing. And then north. North of, north of everywhere, to be honest. That was awesome. I'm going to have to do some research and find out what all these containers hold. Well, I don't have to, but that's part of the fun, being able to recognise things. I'm guessing the covered hoppers are used to carry grain and anything that needs to be kept dry. Those ones with the divide up the, the middle, I've no idea what they were supposed to carry. It's kind of like what you see in a truck or a van that would carry glass, but I'm pretty sure they don't carry glass. So let me know what those ones are supposed to carry. 
and the name of the ones that carry the cars, they're auto somethings. So frustrating. I'll find out as soon as I as soon as I put the, the camera away, of course. Right, I think I'm gonna call it quits for now because I'm not actually supposed to be doing this just now. I need to be picking up my son. So thanks for watching. And I will return with more rail fanning. <laughs> I know it sounds really sad, but it's fun. Take care everyone, see you soon. Right.